Hey friends, we just wrapped up our first working in the scamp uh, vacation. We drove seven hours south and stayed at a state park in Illinois. It was an hour north of Gateway National Park, which was our destination for the weekend. I took a half day Wednesday and we drove down Wednesday afternoon to get down there Wednesday evening to set up. And then we worked from the scamp Thursday and Friday and then spent the weekend at Beaver Dams State Park. Our mobile internet, this was our, again our first time working from the scamp. Um, and the mobile internet was more than fantastic. It was blazing fast. We, uh, we looked at cellmapper.net to find the nearest tower before we went down there, saw that AT&T was gonna be our closest tower. And when we got there, set everything up and did a speed test in the morning, we got 46 megabits per second down and 26 megabits per second up. So Alyssa had a huge team meeting. Um, she was on a Zoom meeting with 60 plus people. At the same time, I was on a Microsoft Teams meeting with 40 plus people and none of us had any issues at all. It was, it was fantastic. Internet also allowed for us to attend church Sunday virtually, which was great. So we really enjoyed that as well. So the reason that we made the trip all the way down seven hours away from home was to cross another national park off our list. So we visited the Gateway Arch National Park on Saturday. We rode the tram uh, to the top of the arch and got to see the views of the city and of the Mississippi, which was really cool. We also walked around the park and visited the Catholic Church that's in the National Park, which was a, a really cool site to stop and walk through. So yeah, it was a short trip for a National Park, but it was uh, still a lot of fun. Some other just relaxing activities that we did while we were staying in the State Park was we did a lot of birding and we saw some really cool birds. We saw, we saw a barred owl really up close, uh, which was really cool. We saw indigo bunting and uh, just a couple other really cool birds. We also visited a swamp in the state park and just did a bunch of birding there too and saw a bunch of really cool birds. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. We also just did some relaxing. Uh, I finished a book, Let My People Go Surfing. It's about Patagonia's founder and just his business philosophies and how he runs Patagonia and all that kind of stuff. Uh, really cool and I highly recommend to people who are into, you know, conserving our planet and the environment. Uh, just a really cool read on how Patagonia is trying to um, do business a little bit differently. One of our relaxing activities while camping is also just uh, eating good food. So we made a bunch of really good meals, uh, salmon burgers and asparagus salad, uh, made some pizza pies over the fire one night. And yeah, so that's just really fun for us and uh, get to enjoy some good camping food. One thing that we did notice while we were staying in the state park is there were a lot of ants. Uh, if you even sat in like a chair or stopped for like a little bit, like ants would just start crawling on you. And when we went to pack up, I opened, you know, the seat cushion under uh, the side where we have the, the pep wave cellular cables running in. And under that section was just ants everywhere. Like, I mean, you couldn't even count them. There were so many. And I went in with like a wet paper towel and was like killing as many as I could. And it seemed like it wasn't even making a dent. So that was a bit frustrating. We had to uh, buy a bunch of ant traps and hoping that those will uh, take care of the problem. Um, it looked like they were coming in not from where we installed the cord port, um, which I'll link uh, put a link in the description to our cord port install. So we added a cord port to the scamp and that's where we run the cellular cables in. And it didn't seem like the ants were coming in there. They were actually coming in from where the ground goes from the electrical um, box inside to the frame on the scamp. So I'm gonna have to look at that and just uh, see if I can't silicone that up and seal it up a little bit better. So overall, it was just a great vacation. Uh, we had a ton of fun, the scamp working from it was great. We had no hiccups with that, which was fantastic since it was our first time working from the Scamp. Scamp towed great again. So yeah, really pleased with the Turig and how that can tow the Scamp with 
skis. Um, so yeah, looking forward to uh, many more of these types of trips. If you like this episode, greatly appreciate a uh, thumbs up. And if you want to be informed of our next trip and follow along as we continue to work from our scamp and figure out the balance of uh, remaining unplugged while having to be plugged in for work, uh, subscribe to our channel. If you want to see just a little bit more about our trip, keep watching. So we're making our breakfast that we like to have at home, but we also, it's simple and easy, so we really like doing it for camping as well. It's overnight oats. So what we do is one part oats to one part almond milk in a mason jar and then let it sit overnight and then it makes delicious oats for the morning. At home we use uh, a little bit of vanilla and cinnamon in them as well and leave that in overnight with the oats and almond milk but for simplicity's sake we did not take those with camping. seal them up and throw them in the fridge overnight. Right there. A real towel.